Right, so the engine sheds or the interior flooring is done inside there. So the next step is just moving forward. As I said, I'm going to put masking tape all around the bottom edge of these sheds so I can start doing something around the outside. Um, but that will still be able to me to lift them if I need to, to look at the lighting or anything. So that's the next. Thinking about water towers as well. So there's four tracks this side, there's four that. So I'm thinking two water cranes each side because one crane should be able to service two tracks. I'm going to put the water, the main water tower over there, I think at the back. So my plan is to do something, one there, one there, the same over the other side, and somewhere, maybe there, there and another. And then I've got these yard lights that I bought, just three volt, um, they're just working out. I've been playing around where I'm going to put those, so I was thinking I could just put, I've drilled an hole already, uh, let's just try and get the wires through. square and level. It's kind of the plan would maybe look something like that. Water towers, no, sorry, water cranes, two tracks each. I've got the pipes to put on yet, but they can come later. And then a light in the middle can save on the other side. Then I can work out and start doing the, the ballasting, the cinders, whatever it's going to look like, and work my way forward. So like I did under the engine sheds, I've just given the cork a coat of this cheap grey paint. Just thoughtfully it'll just help when I uh, do the next layer, just hide some of the cork colour. Bit of a base. a big area for such a small brush but I've just found it does make a mess of your brush as you can probably see but using a small brush you can just sort of circular motions and almost dab it on you just seem to get a better textured effect on it so it'll probably take a bit longer and um, this brush will be no good after but um, I think it's for me anyway it's the best way of putting it on to start laying some uh, ballast and scatter down now. I am going to use this mix. It was a grey blend. It was some of the cinders and I put some uh, black weathering powder in it as well. So I'm going to try that round this first shed. I'm only going to come as far as here. I've spent ages trawling internet and uh, eBay and whatever. I'm trying to find a couple of lean-to workshops to go on the back here just as like a mess for the workmen, the stores, um, but as yet I can't find anything. I've seen a couple which might work, I just can't get the dimensions on them yet, so I'm only going to come as far as here, keep searching, see if I can get some that ordered and then I can move on. But for now, I'm going to do from the turntable down to here. So I'll start spreading some and see what it looks like.
Okay, so that's the uh, base layer of ballast put around the first shed. I'm going to stop there. Um, it's using far more than I thought actually. I hope I've got enough for the other half. If not, I'm going to get some more and have to mix it to try and get the same blend. So, usual thing, I'm going to soak it with uh, spray with water and then I use the usual PVA uh, and water 50 50 mix. Right, so that's it soaked with PVA and water. Just leave it to dry now for a while. Um, I had to take the shed off because on the inside of the shed I did line it with some brick paper. It just covered where the uh, plastic windows went and just give it a bit more of a, a theme inside. I was just a bit worried that the uh, glue would soak underneath and up onto it and ruin that. So I've taken it off. I might have a little bit of fettling to do when I put it back in, but let's just hope that dries okay and then I can move on to the, the next step. So that's the start, that's some uh, ballast mix and cinders down, ground up the lines, put a bit of greenery down, by no means finished but uh, hopefully it's an improvement to how we started out. Still lots to do, um, for the back of the sheds I have managed to uh, excuse me, source some um, outbuildings on eBay, some laser cut MDF. Um, I'm probably hoping I can adapt them to uh, be able to fit as a workshop on the back of each shed. Hoping they'd have been here by now. Deliveries between Monday and Thursday, Wednesday afternoon, so I'm guessing it is going to be Thursday. So that'll be one for later. Um, but I'm just hoping I can adapt them to uh, to fit the back. <laughs> 